Hey guys, welcome to another customization tutorial. This time is the Butterfly Producer Pack. Um, my name is Roberto George and I'll be guiding you through this customization uh, process. And before we start, uh, I would like to say that inside of the project folder we'll find a folder named Rendered with Alpha, which already contains uh, 11 animations, 10 with butterflies and one with, uh, with the bee that you can, if you like them as they are, um, you can overlay them on your uh, videos. Um, I'm going to bring one over here, for example, animation number 8, I think it's the green one, really like it. Um, let's say we bring it to another comp, ok, so let's pretend this would be your a footage file and they are ready to of course you can bring them inside any any mm, software that you want to uh, to use you don't need to use uh, after effects for uh, for these ones that already are rendered okay so saying that let's move on with the project itself I'm going to close this one, I'm going to close this one, which were the ones that we just created, okay, and we are going to start with the project uh, itself. Uh, before we start, just one more thing, inside uh, of the folder named Assets, you will find all the butterflies, uh, and if you fi and if you replace any of these uh, wings this one here is just for orientation purposes it will not be used in the project just the left wings and right wings and we'll see that in a moment uh, where they are animated but let's say that you want to change the colors of this or you want to bring your own butterfly in um, you can replace these and once you open the project uh, it will be already inside your project. Uh, in this case if you replace this one you will have butterfly uh, number two uh, with different color or different shape. Uh, doesn't matter. One thing I would like to mention is the size. Uh, beware of the size if you make a new if you make a new uh, butterfly try to keep the same size of, of um, the ones that are here in this case 299 by 559 sorry about that um, and that will work for any of the elements okay so with that said let's go to the animations um, so in the folder animations you will find the animations that we saw on the preview okay we will we'll go back to them in a second and inside the assets you'll find the butterflies the images or the placeholders um, are inside this individual folders for every of the butterflies and the bee as well and under the folder named comps you will find um, the butterfly animation uh, but just the wings animation. I can open one here. You can see that we only have the wings animation here. Okay. Um, I can close this for a moment now. And let's go for the simplest part, uh, which is if we want to let's say you like this butterfly but you don't like the the path that she goes uh, so all you have to do is select the butterfly press U to see the the keyframes and let's say here you would like to put your timeline on this keyframe and you would like to the butterfly be more on top and here a little bit downer and then here on top again it's gonna be a bit of a weird movement 
movement, but uh, just to, to, to e exemplify. Okay. Um, so in here we have a different moving movement uh, already. And in here I would like to say as well that if you find this movement, um, let me just put a, a solid here just so we can see better. Okay, it's better. Uh, let's say that you like this movement but you say well this is not exactly the butterfly that I would like to use with this movement or you want to use the same movement for all the butterflies there's a very quick way to do that um, and all you have to do is go to your butterfly comps and let's say you would like to use butterfly number 8 here it's one of my favorites okay what I did was, I'm going back I selected butterfly 1 and then clicking ALT and dragging butterfly number 8 I'm gonna drop it on top and that will replace the butterfly but the animation will keep the same uh, so I can render this one with this animation and then bring number 9 also pressing ALT and dragging and um, I will have the same animation for the butterflies that I that I want. Okay, as you can see here, the butterfly will follow uh, a path, and when she turns, her head uh, goes in that direction. We will see that in a moment as well. How uh, we can do that because you you might find um, uh, some difficulties regarding this and there's a very simple uh, solution to do it okay so this will work for all the animations in here let's put a white solid underneath in here these butterflies are animated more for a 2D uh, image like I used on my preview I used an album I can bring it uh, here, I'm just gonna place it. Okay, this is a screenshot of a photo album that I have uh, available on video I as well, and um, it could be the the video. But this just for purposes. So um, this will look like the butterflies are uh, flying by this 2D. Um, plane giving some color to the, the project and now when they go for example just an example uh, the page could uh, could turn or any animation that uh, that we had in our in our project so in here um, I'm gonna turn it back to white so you can see better in here um, this animation which is animation number six as three butterflies the same will happen let's say that you don't like uh, butterfly number seven and you want number eight click it first don't forget to click the one that you want to replace and then pressing alt click the one that you want to bring and drop it on top and just replace it uh, you can do the same with all the others okay and uh, very quickly have a different set of butterflies with the same animation and now let's say that um, this butterfly you don't like the path that she goes uh, you can of course um, change the keyframes to to get a different uh, different look or you can press U and let's say disable all of these and she will have a straight path so this will really depend on uh, what kind of uh, animation you want to achieve but of course you can um, play 
get totally different um, totally different results. In, and, and at this point I would like to mention as well that um, every butterfly has a drop shadow effect that you may want to disable or not depending on the, uh, on the result that you want and you can also by turning on you can also modify let's say that you want a softer shadow so it's not as hard as the other ones. Let's say that you want to um, make the butterfly uh, farther or further from the object itself. So without moving the, the butterfly, it seems that this one is higher than these two here. Let's just see. No, they didn't cross, but I would like them to just to show something. Okay, so if I'm working with this one, that's what I want to see. Okay, if I'm working with this one, uh, a shadow that looks higher than the other one, what I would like to do here is to put this on top. to move the Z axis and bring her to top, okay? Because we're work working with the three D and we could leave it down, okay? If we're working with only two D um, we can play around with just the compositions. In here we adjust the Z position. So it really looks that she's passing. Okay, so now <laughs> it looked weird. Because <laughs> I added the keyframe here. And it doesn't look nice at all. Oh, in here they overlap. Okay, so we're going to use here. Let's change our Z position. Okay. So she will fly on top of the other one. Okay, this is just uh, another example. I want to show you as well the animation 11, which is the B. When I start making the project, I was not thinking about the bee, it was just uh, butterflies. But then I found, why why not? Um, so in here we have a very slim simple animation. And one thing that I would like to add here is just uh, a wiggle that I used on the preview. So let's put the bee here. And let's open our position, and I'm gonna click Alt, and uh, hold Alt, and then click again to open my expressions. And I'm gonna choose Wiggle, parentheses, and I'm gonna put one over 50. I think it was what I was used in the preview. So this will give me. Let's change. No, that's 
not what we want. Uh, let's delete this swiggle here and try on the anchor point for I think it was what I used. Let me just check. We go one over fifty. If you don't see well in the the video, um, it's a uh, new right wiggle with two G's, and then open parentheses one comma uh, fifty and close the parentheses. Let's see if it was this. No, it wasn't. So we're gonna do it from scratch. Uh, I'm gonna create a new composition here. 180p. I'm gonna bring a new solid, okay. And I'm gonna bring my P. Okay. Um, so as you can see, we only have the, the wings now. So what we will have to do is press our 3D and open the rotation okay so at the moment we cannot see the B itself because it's a two delay but if we turn around here to Put it on 90. Let's put this on. And it's 90. Okay. Gonna scale it down a bit. And now let's try to open my position. Pressing Alt. That's what I did. Before animating the the path itself, I made this wiggle on a position so it looks a bit uh, more realistic. Because bees, as we know, they don't uh, they don't stay in the same place uh, for a long time. So now I could animate her, and let's say first position would be off the screen. Second position would be something around here to the top third position something here and finally So we have this movement. Okay. In the preview, uh, what I would use mostly of the B was um, she was staying in a place for most of the part, and then just uh, and then I had a balloon with some text as well. So this is the way we, we do the um, the P uh, to show itself. Don't get scared when you bring it to your composition that you just see this and say, wow. Uh, just turn it on. And um, turn on the collapse. Okay. So now you can bring rotation and put minus 90 here and minus 90 on C and of course minus or on an animated I need to be minus um, and there you go you have 
that uh, that be animated. Uh, and of course, change the position. Okay, regarding the B, um, if you need any further help, please drop me a line and I'll, I'll try to explain better uh, or help in whatever you, you're trying to achieve. So you can close this one, can close this one, close this one, and let's work with our butterflies now, but uh, let's forget the animations that are already made, and let's make a new composition, and... 1080p, okay. Okay, so we have a new composition here. Again, we're gonna play a solid just so we can see better. And we're gonna bring our butterfly number 8. I really like number 8. Yeah. Okay, so what we have here, as I explained before, is just the wings animation. And I would like to make something similar to animation, I don't remember which one it was, number 6, yeah, number 6, something like that, we're going to make something like this, um, and then we're going to make something more like, no, yeah, something similar like this, so we can see how to work with, uh, in uh, 2D or 3D, um, Maybe this is not the exact term, 2D or 3D, because we're going to work on 3D anyway. But uh, let's say that we are seeing the, the butterfly from top. Um, and in this case, we are seeing the butterfly from from the sides. We can see that uh, it's really a 3D object moving. Okay, so what we will want to do is... Um, Let's open our position. Oh, and here, uh, the B, you will have to use collapse transformation. Regarding the butterflies, uh, it's optional. And when you're not using the collapse, you will see that the wings have this um, nice blur effect when they flap. If you turn on collapse, uh, you will lose that um, blur effect. Okay? So it will use uh, as it fits better. It depends on the image that we have in the background. Okay, so let's animate. Let's put the first position. No, I'm gonna leave it inside the screen, okay. And the second position here. Third position here. Fourth position here. Let's turn on 3D. So one thing that uh, you can see here is that the butterfly is not going on her natural position. She's going sideways, like a crab or something like that. Um, uh, crab, what I mean crab is a, shell a shellfish. Uh, at least we have lots of them <laughs> here in the, in the Algarve in Portugal. And uh, it really looks like a crab moving on the rocks. But... Um, what we want is to have our butterfly facing the, the path. Uh, you can, of course, work uh, with your orientation, and you would have to make a keyframe here. And then when she changes, you would want to change the position. So something like that, but mm, just doesn't doesn't look nice. So let's do this uh, with an easier. I'm gonna con control Z, control Z. Okay, back to our original. So what we want is that uh, she wants she uh, follows the path. And selecting the butterfly, we go to just close the window here. We go to layer and transform and auto auto orient. And this is um, where you might find some problems, because I'm almost sure that you work with auto orientation, but if we put auto orient along the path, whoops, this is <laughs> what's going to happen first. 
and you will see uh, what's this. This is no good for me, and it's not. It's no good for no one. And I'm going to try to explain why this happens and how to solve the problem. Okay, so Control Z. Um, if we go back to our rotation and we put uh, on X minus 80 and on Z minus 180 it doesn't have to be this exact um, numbers but I'll show you uh, why we're doing that you can of course work a little bit and now if I go to layer transform out of orient orient along path okay uh, now you see that she is now I have to turn the collapse tra transformation on so I can see the, the full wide of the wings but now you see that uh, she's going she's going on the <laughs> wrong side so we have to change this one to 180 yeah. yeah this is the one okay so now she goes all on the direction of the path okay let's do one more example without having the butterfly like this. Let's bring another butterfly. Oh, butterfly eight. Okay. And now we want um, position. Let me just try without the tricky position here. Position here. Position here. And position there. So if we try. To transform and auto orient. Orient along the path. What happens? She will go sideways, as you saw, even if it's not on 3D. So if we press rotation, and in here we should put 90. Okay. And now she will go along the path. I will explain why this happened in, a, in a just a second. In here, I would like maybe to use um, drop shadow. Something like this, and softer. Okay, so we have our butterfly working along the path. Okay, so why does this um, happen? Is we're gonna bring another butterfly to try to explain the same one. If we choose, if we have our path now and we choose to put her along the path, um, what happens is that she's not um, facing the camera. So when we put these values here, let me just, when we put these values here, um, before making any changes to the animation, what we will get is uh, let's try the minus 90 and minus 180 okay what we will have is gonna bring this here and just the null so we can zero So I'm just moving the null now. Uh, so I'm not touching the, the butterfly, just the camera. 
but it's very hard to, to, to see it like this. So, going a little above, we will see that she is facing, or he, I don't know, <laughs> is facing our camera. Um, so if we want to have a butterfly to follow a path, we will have to respect these um, values here so that we can put her facing uh, the right position to facing the, the us facing the camera and then we can uh, make our uh, animation or you can because uh, it's going to be difficult for you working with her facing the camera so you can make all your changes and positions but once you choose uh, to follow a long path you will have to remember that you will have to go to your uh, butterfly and insert these um, values. Or if you want to f uh, the other reversal, you will have to put, uh, let's say, 90 here. So she goes the other way. Um, this one is not uh, very important because she will look the uh, same. Okay. So. We don't have a path here. So we have this position. And this position here. This example looks a bit, <laughs> a bit weird, um, but I hope you get the the idea. Um, gonna make just a new example. Position one. So as I was saying, work with the position first. Now choose transform, auto orient, orient long path. Okay, she's sideways like the crab we saw. And now I got the rotation. And no, but sorry. Stupid. Right, okay. So this would be the value that she would face uh, the camera. That's about it. All you have to do now is choose um, the animation that uh, that you prefer. Uh, and oh no, wait a minute! I would like to show you another thing. Let me just find the butterfly number animation number five. Okay. Um, I'll put a solid so you can see better. Okay. One thing that you want to try as well, I almost uh, forgot, is the Some animations will have lights, others uh, won't, and this will depend on your on your uh, project that you're working on. Okay. This is the more realistic butterfly that uh, I have, but you can say you can see big changes uh, when you use lights. a bit too dark on the end. Let's bring the light a bit up. So now it looks natural. If 
if you check the animation for this one in particular, uh, you will see that I didn't only animate the movement, uh, but also animated the uh, the rotation. So she will rotate. She will rotate from this point on towards the camera and to give a different uh, perspective of course um, and this tutorial is going long already 36 minutes when I start talking and can't shut up I'm really sorry about that try to cover everything and I think I'm not missing um, anything uh, play with these numbers, play with shadows, play with the uh, lights uh, to get your um, perfect combination once you are happy with your animation if you used one of these presets uh, good, if not choose the composition that you made new uh, add to render queue and then all you have to choose is a format usually I use QuickTime uh, QuickTime format. Don't forget to choose uh, RGB minus uh, plus alpha, uh, so you can get the black, a black sorry, a transparent um, uh, background, and then you can overlay them on your footages, on your projects, or whatever. Uh, the other way of using this tool is to, um, if you are working on a project, you can import uh, these animations. Um, and bring them to your uh, to your project and use the butterflies to overlay anything uh, anything that suits you. Okay, sorry to be so long with this. Anyway, if you still have uh, further questions, if you find any problem working with the tool, please drop me a line. I will do my best to um, to help you get past uh, your issues. Okay. Once again, thanks for watching. My name is Roberto George.